welcome, welcome to the Dining with Nate Diva show. I am your hostess with the mostest, Nate Diva, and we are I'm Tracy. TNT. Oh, with well, with that too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that again, and we are TNT. TNT. See, I was there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I want the record to reflect. I was ready to go. <laughs> As you were. <laughs> and who are you? I'm Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. And you are. I'm Tasha. Oh. Thank you. And we are the TNT. <laughs> Lord of mercy. As you can see, we have a very, very good time over here. Yes, we we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. So make sure you, you share in the fun and you like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Make sure you share because sharing it is caring. caring. Yes, it is. Thank you. And we need comments. Oh, yes, yeah, we do need comments. comments. Come on, give us I mean, some topics. Give yeah, us some good relationship comments. topics. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you think about what you've seen and or heard. Right. And Please if you have comment. a topic and you don't want to be put on blast or anything, you can you can comment anonymously. With oh, I, yeah. My email will be on below. So you can email me. Uh, but let's move along. Okay. <laughs> As so, we were. Yes. So we have a great show today. Um, this topic right here is always a controversial co- topic for most couples and most people. Um, but it, 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 this is a good juicy one. So today's topic is body counts. Mm. And what I mean by body count is, should you share your sexual history with your romantic partner? Especially mm. if you're considering marriage. Mm. Girl. You want to know? Do, Do you, you want to know? know? Do you want to tell? Do you want to tell? tell? Do you want to tell? Mm. I don't want to tell. Be Do you want to know what you wish for? I don't want to know. True story. No? No. Okay, we're going to save it. We're going to save it. Mm. We're definitely going to come back to it. Yeah, we got to. Well. Because I got stats, too. <laughs> <laughs> She's got numbers. Yes, and I not know. just the body count. Uh, not just the body count? Yes, you got stats? I got stats. You got stats. All right. Got well, come on stats. now. Bring it. Yeah. Come so on with your stats. We're we going to get right up into that topic. But first, let's get up into this featured restaurant of the day. Are y'all excited about the food? I I'm am excited. always excited about the food. Yes. yes. Well, always. I have to give a big shout out to my um, media mama, Miss Marie and, and Timberly. They actually have been doing all of our social media content and, and posting and reaching Killing out it. to all these different restaurants. It. And she actually came upon this restaurant we're featuring today and it's called BSO Wings. Okay. Yes. And it stands for actually brown sugar and okra. Okay. Oh, yeah. So they they used to be okay. in Dumont, New Jersey, and they had that name, and okay. they relocated to Hackensack. They're at two fifteen Main Street in Hackensack, New Jersey. And when they relocated to Hackensack, they felt the name was too long, so they just went with BSO. Okay. okay. Yeah. I like yeah. it. So it's BSO Nobody Wings. Nobody would ever figure that out. Right. Right. So it's BSO Wings, um, and they specialize in their brown sugar sauce. Mm. Okay. Mm. Sounds scrumptious. That's what men call me. They call you brown sugar. They call you brown sugar. They, do they want some of your brown I, sugar? I, I was referring to the sauce. Uh. <laughs> In a good way. They call you, know you saucy? Mean? No, they call me the brown sugar sauce. Oh. <laughs> Come on now. I thought maybe they were calling you saucy. Well, I could be saucy too. Oh, you well, could definitely yeah, be saucy. I can. Look- Test. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, it takes one to know one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're the one I know. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Was that mumbling? I know. I know. <laughs> that was the salt. <laughs> oh. Is what that okay. was. I get it all the time. That but, was, um, I know, as do I. Okay. So BSO Wings, they're located at 215 <laughs> Main Street in Hackensack. Their telephone number is 201-267-0029. Their website is bsowings.com. The owner, his name is George. It's a family-owned business, actually. So it's father, wife, and they have their two young boys who are straight-A students. Come on, straight-A Josh students. and Chris. Come on with the straight-A Josh. Yeah. Yes. So let's big them Chris. up, you know, because their parents got them set on the right path on, on learning b- b- business ethic. Becoming and, entrepreneurs. And exactly. Having a business savvy type of mindset so I was so happy to see that oh, fabulous. I was so happy so Good I'm definitely um, I'm, I'm ecstatic to be able to come out and just support them and, and bring them out here on the show so make sure you go to BSO Try Wings traffic get it over there yes and tell them that TNT sent Thank you from you. the Dining with Nadeva show yes but you know what are y'all hungry yes, yes. 
I feel like that's rhetorical by now. Yeah, I'm hungry yeah, too. We're I'm always like, hungry. Yes. We're always okay, hungry. Okay, let's dig into it. Yeah. yeah we, we, we wait for this moment. Okay, so okay. we ready. We ready. We ready. Y'all let's ready? Let's do it. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Come on, let's get it popping. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. We have something really delicious here. What do we have? Oh, my goodness. Well, what we have here is we've got the sweet blue burger. Okay. Okay. And the ladies here actually have the slider um, version of the sweet blue burger. Then we also have the brown sugar wing, okay. which is right here. Now, the all of this has their signature sauce, which is the brown sugar sauce. So the burger has the brown sugar, and the, the, the wings have the brown sugar. Okay. And then we have some of their, their delicious fries here. So we're going to just go ahead and we're going to get their burger. Then y'all ready? Ready. We blessed it. I want y'all to know we blessed yes. the food already. Yes, we, we blessed, blessed the food somebody every time. My th- <laughs> when somebody jumps down my throat about whether or not the food has been blessed. It's blessed. It's blessed. Let's eat. He did. That's only because she started eating before we even Whatever, started. Whatever, I'm ready. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with the fry. Don't be like that. Mm. Don't call a sister out. Mm. So these are like, these are real potatoes, guys. These are not the ones that's frozen. These are real these are potatoes. Fresh, these are real potatoes. Mm. Mm. Remember, this is black owned. We I support our people. I'm going to cut this. Why in there? I'm going to cut this because I don't think everybody wants to see me bite into this big old burger. No. We, I had a friend who used to eat her wings. I like. She didn't used to. She still does when no one's watching. A fork and a knife? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Here. She said, it was her, she said it was her upbringing. What upbringing? It was boarding school. We went to boarding school. That's how they taught us to eat our wings. With Thank a fork you. and a knife? Yeah. What was it predominantly again? <laughs> Not us. Right, right, right. Whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway... Anyhow, but when she's with us, she picks it's really it up good. With the it's the sauce is really good. No, it really, the blue cheese. cheese on it. It does. I never tasted a burger like that before. But the blue cheese, and I don't like blue cheese, but I like it today. And the spice and the, the sweet. It's really good. Mm-hmm. I'm sup- I'm happily surprised. Yes, I mean his wife. Look at you. Say, she can't talk. Sweet, she can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, hmm? how is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Make you want to smack your mama. Not my Not mama. Not your mama because my, my mama, mama smack, smack you back. back. Mm-hmm. And my mama said. Say hello to Jesus, woman. <laughs> Say hello to you Jesus, woman. You have to tell that story one day because nobody understands what you that is. You should have told that story on the last episode when you talked about your blended family. Was that, was that a say hello to Jesus for me moment? Probably. Uh, we said it. But yeah, I mean, I can go through it real quickly. Young girl, as I said, last episode, a little rebellious. Moved to a predominantly white neighborhood, white school. Wanted to be, you know. The in crown. Right. Right. And I kind of lost my culture. Came home one day and said the wrong word to my mama. Oh, <laughs> oh mm-hmm. Lord, she never did that. <laughs> Don't do that. Mama got me. <laughs> By my throat. <laughs> <laughs> By the throat. By the throat. And she laid her knees on my chest. Oh, Lord Ooh. mercy. And she she said, went in for the kill. Say hello to Jesus for me. <laughs> say hello to Jesus for me. <laughs> and I swear, I was about to see Jesus because I started to, like, fade like, out. Like, oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> too tight. <laughs> Jesus, that was the point. Gabriel. Girl. All the angels, honey. <laughs> it stayed with me to this day. Of course right. it did. Now, y'all don't do that at home. I'm uh-uh. just saying, that was just my experience with my mama. But, um... Yeah. And I think it's past the time frame that she can be, you know. Yeah, no, nah, we can't do yeah. that no more. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. It's, it's but if I was just say spare the rod, spoil that child. Uh, my mama would still do it to me. Y'all ain't right my now? Mama. Yeah, her mama would. My mama would snatch me up if I got too disrespectful. I kind of want to see that, though. I know you do, because you always <laughs> come to the house trying to incite a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Telling Mama Shirley what she should do. Listen, don't tempt Mama Shirley. Okay. I'm going to see. I'm going to she, she will remind me who the mama is. The blessing and all of that, guys, huh. is your mom is still around. Hallelujah. You're right. Amen. That's the blessing. I wish I had my mom around. Oh, sweetie. Say, say hello to Jesus for me. But you know something? You can come. You can I have my, my stepmom. She's amazing. Oh, but she's, she's with, amazing. She's with Jesus. That means she's with you always. There I know. Is. That and sometimes that's, you know, that means she's seen just like God's seen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. 
have to go I'm there. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, she didn't. But I be feeling the same way about my 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 grandmother. She was a matriarch of the family, and when she passed, I was like, "Oh Lord, <laughs> I ain't gonna never date again." <laughs> <laughs> you did not have to go there. I'm sorry. Oh my God, the picture in my head. Not only were you in the room, but her too. Hallelujah. Yes, and Jesus. Okay. Um, well, I knew that. Yeah, he everywhere now, child. <laughs> did you call one of? <laughs> Is that what now? I'm done here. This well, burger is delicious. As you can see, we're just I'm sorry. We, over here having a great old time eating this delicious. Oh, wait. I didn't even taste the wing. Did anybody have a wing? I had a wing. Did she have a wing? Look at it. Lord of mercy. So where is it? It's it's cool. Exactly. How did she eat that on camera? Quietly. With no fork or knife? I told you. You I put no the bone longer... in your mouth? No. How'd you eat around that? I picked the meat. Put the bone in Do my mouth. Do you usually mouth. Put the bone in your mouth. That's listen. Not, I'm just saying, not, like, not for television you, viewers. I know, look, not look. for our dining with Nadia viewers. Listen, listen. Diva viewers. Listen, when I eat chicken, yeah, how do you do I it? I have to suck on that bone because I'm Jamaican, and Jamaicans they actually eat the inside. The inside. They eat the marrow. The, yes, they do. They eat the they marrow. Eat everything, everything. So, don't take me to a place for a date with some wings. Nah, don't bro. take though. Nah. For all of you single, this bomb, eligible though. bachelors out there. Don't take her for chicken. Don't take her for this burger because this burger is bomb. This burger is everything right now. And it's juicy. It's tender. Mm -hmm. It's seasoned to perfection. But dig into the wing. Yeah. I forgot about the wing. Dig into the wing. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's what's up. Mm. Good. (laughs) Now she's dancing. Do you have this holy host right now? Spirit is upon you. Okay. See? See, I'm not the only one who's quiet when I am enjoying a delicious meal. Amen. You know what? We're going to let her go ahead and enjoy this meal. And and we'll be back. BSO Wings, 215 Main Street in Hackersack. Go there. Be square. Tell them TNT (laughs) sent you from Dining with Nick Diva. We'll be right on back. (laughs) Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are full. We are happy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are ready to get into this hot topic. Yes, I'm really ready for the topic. Are you really ready? Why are you so ready? Because it's controversial. You think? I do. Because you've shared body count with with partners? With one person. Well, let's give the viewers what what we're talking about today. Yes, hello. So today we're talking about body counts. Uh Should you share your sexual history with your romantic partner? Especially if you are considering marriage. Should you? Now, we could go right into our own personal, but y'all let me know if y'all want to hear the stats before. Y'all want to hear the stats. I like to hear the stats I want to hear the stats. Yeah. You want to hear the stats? I want to hear the stats. Okay, I'll read them real quick. So, sexual past. Men and women have surprisingly similar attitudes towards discussing their sexual partners, with a notable exception. Men at 3.335%. This is from the Wall Street Journal. Um, They disclose the number of sexual partners after the first date. Okay? And men only, do. Men do. And only 34 Women do. 29.62 men disclose the number of sexual partners once exclusive. Mm. 29, oh, the women a little bit lower. 29.54% of women disclose, okay? <laughs> 21.79% of men never share their number of sexual partners, and 21.81% of women never share their partners either. So they're almost like neck and neck here. Mm-hmm. Here right. where there's a big difference. <laughs> 40% of men think about sex several times a day. Yes. Where it was only 13 or 14% of women only yes. think about it. <laughs> well, you know where they had is that. we have to worry about the kids. And right. we got to worry about the bills. And we're worried about so many other things. And sex is sometimes the last thing on my mind. Yeah. If on my mind at all. Oh, right. That reminds me of, a, of a, one of our past... Uh, Topics about fasting sex within a marriage, if it's mutual. Maybe that falls into play, I guess. Because you got so much going on. Yeah. Um, 14% of men average the number of sexual partners in a lifetime. 8% of women. I don't know what that Wait, means. Wait, say it again? I don't know. It says 14, 14.64 average no. number of sexual partners in a lifetime. Oh, so that's the average number that oh, a man will have, so, and, and that's and, the average number that a woman will okay, have. Okay, well, so the average woman will we be know eight, that's a lie. 8.41. And that's a lie? I said that's a lie, uh, y'all. 
For <laughs> some women. It was speaking a lie. That's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one? Uh, it says 14.61% of men lied by telling a lower number of, of sexual partners. Of course. But I bet the number was higher for women who lied about telling their number, wasn't it? Did you look at my card? No, I just know. <laughs> It's seventeen point twenty four percent of women. Come on, somebody, somebody because tell because, the truth. Because one, or sh- d- I don't think a woman is comfortable disclosing her sexual history to her partners right. for fear of judgment. Right, and exactly. Why else? That we've also covered because men's egos are and fragile. Two, because men's because egos are men's fragile. Because men's egos are fragile, and they don't want to hear that fifteen dudes got there before they did. Right, right. Because they're territorial. Once even they- look, even Prince said he was jealous of the jockeys who were there before he was. And Little Red Corvette, that was a lyric. Well, that's because you know every lyric in the world. That's not the point. The point is, even <laughs> Prince felt a little insecure about knowing and seeing the pictures of the jockey that were there before me. Believe it or not, he started to worry. Well, then, Tasha, how about you? How can we ask you this Wonder question? If he had enough class. Let's ask you this question. Would you want to know your husband's body count? I do know my husband's body count. And how did you, how do you feel about that? I felt no way about it. Be- I felt no way about it because... He and I were friends before we started dating. So there were things we disclosed to one another that you probably wouldn't tell someone you were dating. dating. Right? We didn't have a crystal ball. We didn't know when we shared those numbers that two, three years later we would start dating. So he told me. So you did it while you were a friend. I did it while we were friends. Okay, but if y'all were dating and he asked you, if you were in an f- exclusive relationship with him and he asked you that question, because so you had that friend uh, to right, save you. had you. the cover. That was your cushion. You had the cover. Well, I didn't need a cushion. It wasn't like my number was up there. I had a low number. Okay. Okay. I did. And he didn't? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it to him like this. Had I given him the number he gave me, you it might have been a different outcome. Okay. A longer courting process. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He'd have been like, you got to wait he, a minute on that right there. Right. On everything, if I'd have been like, oh yeah, my number is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Well, so is yours. And he'd have been like, yeah, but no. Yeah, your, your number could have just been one. And he would have been like, ah! <laughs> That's how men are. Yeah. That's how they are. What about you, Tracy? The, well, most times. Most times you will disclose? No, I will not. Okay. I will not. But this present relationship, we talk about everything. Entanglement. And this entanglement. <laughs> yeah, let's call it what it is. Let's call it what present it is. Entanglement. Well, well, Will would say, come on, Jada. It was a, a relationship. relationship. It wasn't an entanglement. Okay, so this let's present get that relationship. straight. This present relationship. We talk about everything. So we do, but what I did, what I found is this is the one we really ain't talking. <laughs> well, there and sex. there's never a did period. You know, yeah, I got <laughs> never yes, a period. Your sentences don't have. They periods. are planning their day. <laughs> <laughs> what they making for dinner? <sighs> yes. Did Come you do on. the kids' report? Well, see, the kids is all grown, right? And I'm moving on in this entanglement mm-hmm. relationship, whatever. We talk, but what I found, <laughs> what I found was. <laughs> what is it? What you find? I'm dying to know. So one day we're talking, and I say, "Oh, so and so's. Oh, I I met him when I was a teenager. He's like, was he in the count? <laughs> was like he's trying to keep count. He said that every time. He's, no, he didn't say it every time, but it happened. It was like, was he in the count? <laughs> Oh, see, look, he's trying to put faces with names, numbers. That is a problem. Trying to line them all up. That's a problem. See, yeah, I think that's the problem. Right, you I can't do it. I think the problem it. is knowing right, you who, can't. what number belongs to whom. Ooh, right. Because if you just know a number to countless faces, that's one thing. But when you're like, oh, I only had four. And he's like, oh, well, so-and-so one. Right. Why? <laughs> right. Well, that's, that's, you know, for me personally, I ain't giving it up nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Because like, you don't want to. Uh, really let, let me, me tell, tell you. you. Okay, I'm, I'm all like that. Okay, I, I because just you like don't want to be judged. Because you don't want to hurt. You will be judged. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt his ego. I don't want to be judged. I don't want to. You know, I don't feel like having to go through any kind of emotional things and setting off any triggers or you know, because it's I'm, not necessary. It's, it's not necessary. And I personally, knowing me, I don't want to know that either. Because I, I got offended. I, I don't want to know it you either. Because I know men bo- yeah. got bodies. I know men got bodies. I got a question though for y'all though. What's the question? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to do like me. you did. I don't know. But does it feel weird? Mm. And it's, this especially goes for you too, Tasha, because you have a relationship 
you have a relationship when the with your husband, ex-wife. Oh but does it ever feel weird talking to people you know slept with your ex-spouse? My current spouse. I mean, your current with your with, with your my, spouse, with my spouse, meaning your ex, meaning the ex wife or ex husband, oh, right? And same thing. Would you would you feel uncomfortable? Or old I have it. You I haven't spoken to someone. I don't who's... feel. I don't feel weird. It's in the past. Yes, yeah, see, I... it's in the past. So you don't feel weird being around another woman that has slept with your current man. Depends on where where I'm at with the man, but I don't feel I'm fine with it. Where you at is y'all sleeping R- together, right? I mean, I should say y'all, y'all are in an exclusive you're, relationship. You're in an intimate Right. When you're in an exclusive, intimate relationship, why do you care about what happened in the past? Because it's in some, the past. Because some people but do. But I mean, like, do you ever feel like, because sometimes I know I've, I've gone through this process in well, my mind. You know, I've met an ex of my current. Right. And I'm over there in the corner like, hmm. You're trying, you're starting you're to picture. You're trying to have, you have pictures. I'm picturing. I'm like. Did he do with her what he does yeah. with me? Yeah. And of course, you know, of course, you're taking in everything. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, you she like, coming in there looking like a whale. It's like, really? Now you're looking at him strange. Like, why you do that? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? Come on, why now. Am I here? <laughs> People's taste change. Changes. It, it does. It does. I, I guess, but I mean. No, you do. You, you I, know what? That's true. You're right about you that. You look at that. You like, do, but I don't. I Hold mean, on, I'm sorry. I have judgment. I'm I mean, sorry. not judgment, but I look at it and you think those thoughts go through your head. I I'm just sure. need clarification. What do you uh, mean? You said. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Tasha. You said when you see your. Wait, I'm lost. When I see my current man's ex, ex yeah. right? You're picturing him doing with them what well, he's she's done doing with now you, with you, right? And if she's. Not of the same. If she's Make not cut up. from the same cloth that you are. She got to be cut from the same cloth. But I mean, just look halfway this. I mean, if she coming in looking like a ragamuffin, and I'm like, well, what was you doing with her? Yeah, what point in your life were you at? <laughs> Where were you woman? in your life Maybe she at wasn't that time? A ragamuffin when they were together. Maybe he made her a ragamuffin. Well, Maybe but now I'm thinking. The reason and why now you got look like that. Like, is this my future? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and and I I I've, I've seen a couple of my husband's exes counts. Okay, you s- bodies. Mm-hmm. And you good? Were you pleasantly surprised? And I'm like, or were you just all right? You're like, um, you, you was, did better, honey. You, never you stepped up, like, yo, bro. What was you thinking? You nope. never did that. I'm a, they was well, bad. I, mean, I do. They was bad. Uh, on, on, there, there's been an occasion too where I was like, really? what was you thinking? Where did that come from? That seems so out of your, your taste. It just didn't. Oh, whatever. Everybody goes through something. Maybe it was maybe, one of those she, times. Okay, maybe so she called had, him at a time. You've had the same thoughts I've had. Yeah. I'm just, yes, I guess. <laughs> see, I have. I see, you know why? Only because we're so, va- even me and his ex-wife, we're so vastly different. She's petite, five feet even if that. And she's white. And she's Italian. And I'm not that. <laughs> no. I'm actually quite the antithesis of yeah. that. Yeah. So I often wonder, like. Big words. <laughs> SAT word alert. Sure. We'll throw them out every once in a while. Just stay tuned. You, you, you'll, you'll pick up on it. Just pick make sure up, you watch the episode. Dictionary. You have a dictionary at hand when Tasha goes into commentary. Okay, go ahead, Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> she always puts you on the spot. There is so much hateration. <laughs> Ain't no hateration. And holleration. There's so much love on this table. In this so dancery. It's spilling all over the place. Yeah, I, I, I do. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess that's fair to say. Yeah. I, I, I wonder where the shift came. You don't never be like, you know, when when they like lead up, like, you know, we got to go to this uh, party or whatever, but, you know, so-and-so is going to be there. You never met her before. You only heard about her. And your mind are like, oh. Okay, I'm going to finally see what, oh. what okay, the competition what was. No, we never had situations like that, thank God. You never, but that, no, no, that thought never crossed your mind like, hmm, I can't wait to see what she looked like. No, because we don't get into in situations like that. Like our, his exes, we don't run in the in same the circles. So okay. our paths would never cross, except for me and Small his ex-wife. World. So his body counts have been in another state? Mm-hmm. Oh, lucky Countries. You. Yeah, he crossed country with oh, it. Oh, lucky yeah. you. He ain't... <laughs> <laughs> he crossed country and, with and it. what, what country about you? Sir, Regions. Sir, Trey, how do you feel? Like, have you, have you, have you ever looked at a man? And I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. <laughs> Stuck. Um... 
don't think I really want to know the body Hold on count. one second. I got a situation and a scenario. Uh-oh. So, like, right when you had told us in the, one of the last episodes when uh oh your baby daddy's oh, girl came right tat oh, on your door. door. No, about, wait. Came in the back door. Right. While I was on up the stairs. And talk by the about, time, hi, I know you in here. That? That one. Did you take a gonda after you, after you got over the initial shock of this woman banging on your door? Did you get a good look at her and just... What did you ponder? No, I didn't ponder that. What did you I ponder? didn't. What did you say? Just, just get this woman out of my yeah, house? Yeah, just get this woman out of my house. But then did it ever settle in like... No. You never got a good look at no, her? No, I never, never I never looked at it and was like, what was he doing with her? Why doesn't he... You know, I didn't. I, I'm, I don't know. I didn't. And see, your ex didn't just have body count. He, he had, had babies count. to follow. He left evidence. <laughs> <laughs> DNA evidence. <laughs> yes, he did. he did. He did. He really did. So I didn't. That might, but that might be the interesting party to go to with all of with yeah. all of his baby's mamas. Yes. I would love to see how it's y'all look at each other. It's five of so us. So between the five of you, he has twenty six children. Twenty. It's twenty four. There's those other. Well, whatever. Twenty four. Okay, so between the five of you, he has twenty four children. Yes. And you've given him two. Yes. So the other four gave him twenty two between them. Yes. Ah. Mm. See, nah, be. you know. Mm-mm. If it was a pizza, you could cancel it, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was wasn't. Pizza. Wasn't. Yeah. Wasn't, it wasn't a pizza. You couldn't cancel the order, so you know it kind of was stuck. But that's why I went running. And Owari was only what eight months eight when months. I was like, I can't do this no more. Hmm. I can't. But I never really was like. Did you know his body count? Do I want to know? No, you don't want to know, but did you? No. How could you? I didn't even know how many kids he had. How could I know his body count? You don't even <laughs> did know. Did he have how any kids, kids when kids? y'all when y'all started? The one I, mean, I, I know this is wait a minute. Off topic, no, it, you mean did I know how many children he had when him and I got together? Yes. How many he told me he had? Yes. One. Lies on top of lies. So the men do lie. All day. You say that like it's a rough. That's I'm why sorry. I don't I'm not ask. Because you know why? I don't want to run the risk of him lying to me. He, That's why well, I if don't his ask. count is astronomical, he's gonna lie. Yeah, but see, y'all don't know the God that I serve. Cause see, we're gonna get into that scripture. But um when you Yeah. When you, <laughs> I know one thing. Sometimes I get I get afraid to pray on certain things because when he reveals, honey, and it says, I will reveal those things which are hidden, mm-hmm. you just ask me. Right. Lord Jesus. And you will receive. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm not ready for all of that. I'm not. So you wanted to come out of the woodwork like it, like if, I don't. That would should never like if if that's information you don't want to know, then that's fine. But do you want to? St- had I not wanted to know, right, and just stuck my head in the sand, where would I be right now? If you didn't want to know, right, and then you're sitting outside the store where you go every day to get your coffee, mm-hmm. and some random chick comes knocking on your car window. Mm-hmm. Oh, that mm-hmm. one? Oh, she went personal. Yeah, she mm-hmm. went right there. Wouldn't you want to know she's out there? Who's out there? This chick that's knocking on, on your, your window. car window. He, on, told on the yeah, he told me about her. Yeah, he told me about her. He told me about that chick. Because she crazy. I didn't think she was going to be that crazy, but see, you see how God had made that thing happen by chance. I happened to be on the phone with the fool. On FaceTime, right. and she came walking over to the and window saw the pitch, and, saw and saw the picture. that I was on the phone with the man that she was claiming that was her man. <laughs> this is a whole nother topic, but the point of the matter is I walked away looking at him like, first of all, Negro, what the hell was that? <laughs> Secondly, what the hell was <laughs> that? <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm saying. Had he shared his body count with you? No, you maybe, still wouldn't know. not his body count per se. But had he shared that he had had relations with women in the area before you? So that way you're not caught off guard. You wouldn't want to know when that? When someone comes no, knocking on your window. You got to give me a disclaimer before and to, to, to tell me, hey, just in case you run into this crazy girl, I had a relationship with her like three years ago. She a little crazy. So just, just so you know, if you run into her, just get... I don't need nobody because I'm going to be like, all right, boo, you go. You want her to go somewhere. I'm going this way. I don't need that kind of disclaimer. I don't. But what if you're already involved in a relationship and now you have feelings and he's like, oh, by the way, babe, before we go to dinner... I want you to know that so and so works here, <laughs> <laughs> and she may be our and server. And she might be our server. Well, so you know, if my man has any good inclination of his woman, he, he won't know. take you to a place where he she would be a know. server. Right, okay. right. But see, also too, I would be so secure in my relationship that I probably would be like, you know what? All right, baby, let's go. And I'm gonna get my. Let me not. <laughs> let's get into the scripture. Into the scripture. Oh, come on, come on. Let's get into the scripture. Let's get into the scripture because you know the scripture for everything, even for body counts. 
Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go home and reread that. <sighs> yeah. So this scripture actually comes from Luke, Luke eight seventeen. A lot of people don't know Luke was a doctor, mm. and uh, he <laughs> had to, he had some really good. He was a surgeon. He was a really good good. Had some great wisdom. Um, and it says in Luke 8, 17, for there is nothing, what I just was about to say, mm-hmm. there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed and nothing concealed that will not be known or brought out into the open if God sees for it. So I don't, I feel like I ain't got to ask. If God wants me to know about it, Tracy does always say, what, what you the, do in the dark will be come to the light. Light. That was on Mary. Light. She was like, what don't come out in the wash, come, come out, out in the rinse. rinse. That's right. She did say That's that. That's right. And I always feel like, you know, whatever is done in the dark will definitely come, come out to the light. light. It will. It will. And um, especially, you know, if you and God like this, <laughs> we <laughs> gonna let these. you know. You ain't got to ask these. He gonna, he let gonna you drop know. that tea. He will give you a dream, or he will show you something. He'll have a girl come rat tat tat on, on your, your door. door. <laughs> Talk about y'all saw this. Heaven, anyway, heaven your windshield. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about right now. <laughs> this was a great topic. It was. It, was it really was a good topic. Good I hope topic. you. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification button. And drop button. some knowledge. In the comment section, comment yes, section please, you know, if you have any please. comments, advice, if you have your own topics you'd like for us to share on the show. Please, or your own experiences or your you'd own like experiences, to share. Or your own experiences, absolutely. Right. Please be sure to share it on our page. Or if you're one of those men that you tell your wife, you're the one, he's, she's your one and only. Right. And we need more men out there to comment. Mm-hmm. We're going to tell the wife Ain't nobody, nobody going to. What oh, man, what man is that? That's right. We did hear just, we just heard somebody say that. Who exactly. said that? Nobody. Probably mm. every man that lies. Every man that lies. <laughs> they all lie. Uh, well, that's they a all good lie. One. Well, all right, y'all. y'all. This was a good one. Tea. But until next time, stay divine. Stay divine. Stay divine. Bye, guys.